been more than a week since explosions were first heard in Ukraine's capital city of Kyiv, marking the beginning of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. People continue to show support for Ukraine and ask for peace. That's our top story on Newswatch 16 at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Washington. And I'm Scott Schaefer. First, we want to provide an update on the conflict in Ukraine. After a second round of talks between Russian and Ukrainian delegates to negotiate peace, the two sides only agreed to open humanitarian corridors so Ukrainian citizens can leave. Meanwhile, the Pentagon established a direct line with the Russian Ministry of Defense to avoid unintended conflict. Russian forces continue to surround cities in Ukraine. Today, Russian officials announced they now control the city of Kershaw in southern Ukraine. People in Carbon County came out in droves to show unity with those in Ukraine. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace shows us the rally for peace. Signs were raised and flags were waved as dozens of people stood on Route 209 in Jim Thorpe. All standing in solidarity and in support of the people of Ukraine. We have family there and friends. And for something like this to happen in this day and age, it's, it's uncalled for. Those from the Ukrainian homestead in Lehighton held the rally for peace against Russian aggression in Ukraine. The sound of support of car horns showed unity among people. The only way evil exists is if good people do nothing. And uh, if we do nothing, it's not going to help the Ukraine and who knows what's next. One thing all these people have here in common is their personal connection to Ukraine. And the one thing they want to stop is the war. I think it's horrible and it needs to stop. And I, I think it's really good we're doing all the sanctions against Russia and hit them in the pocketbook where it won't actually do any physical harm to people, but it'll make them think that what they're doing is not the correct thing to do. People say they are concerned that Putin may escalate matters, possibly using nuclear weapons. Someone's going to might push that button and it might be him. Yeah. And we just need to show him that people do care and we just don't want him in there. We don't we don't want him doing what he's doing. People here say they hope the war is over soon so the people of Ukraine can start to heal. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.